Salutations, my adoring fans. This is the inaugural version of Let's Play Breath of Fire for the Super Nintendo by Megaharve. This game, when I was younger, was pretty much my life's goal to buy. Like, I would have dreams that I bought this game, and then I'd wake up and not have it and be pissed off. And this happened, I don't know how many times, like 30, 40 times. Like, I don't think that's an exaggeration. But yeah, I really wanted them. I found it and I was so happy and it was the best day of my life. But yes, I, I named the main character Die with an exclamation mark. Uh, just because it allows for entertaining dialogue. Just they'll scream about how they want to go die and stuff like that. So. Here's, here's an angry dragon. Wake up, warrior! Disaster has struck! We need the power of the dragon! Whoa, you don't need to light yourself on fire, I get it. I, you could have just said please. I would have been up. You'll perish if you don't wake up! Oh, it's a dream. I wonder if I'm in a parish. If I perish in a parish, is that ironic? The village is engulfed in flames! Everything is burning! The roof! The roof is on fire! We must go. Alright, if you say so. But first I gotta get my visectomy potion out of this burning cupboard. Gotta raise my visectomy stat by one, it's essential. Otherwise, you're doomed before you even begin your quest for righteousness and justice. So, yes, increase that by one, that's, it's, like I said, an integral to your journey. Abracadabra! And away goes the fire. It's. It's awesome. It's thrilling. My magic was one strong. Yeah, it did did enough of a trick. Like, why? Oh, what did you? Were you just gonna put it out otherwise? Like, if you were. Never mind. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip most of this NPC stuff here. I just want to get through this opening. Faith is in Sarah, the Undertaker's ex-wife. I guess. Anytime it has something in red, it's worth remembering for one reason or another. So, bear that in mind if you give to. Bat turds. And Zog, the Dark Dragon King, is targeting the Light Dragons, which is us. That's no good. Together we can unite and stop this force. There's what? There's like 11 of us. And if we're all dragons, we can turn into dragons and stop them dead in his tracks before it even begins. Granted, if you bought this game when it was noon, it was $70 and it ended 5 minutes in. It, you'd probably feel kind of cheated, but it didn't stop some people from making some games, like, I don't know, Rise of the Robots. Didn't stop them. Wasn't. I can't believe I already mentioned Rise of the Robots. It's shameful. Horrible. Horrible. What do you mean you gotta do this on your own? Why can't I help? What, what are you doing? Why, why'd you do that? Why do you, why do you turn him into a stone? He can't run away when he's a stone, and you could sell him for a lot of money. If you had a sculpt, like you know Michelangelo's David, like that's gotta be worth a couple of bucks, don't you think? Could you imagine if you had ten of those, with like the articulate detail, like with the clothing, like this would probably look exactly like a real person, like if you were to scale it into real human graphics. Like, there's ten of them, or however many it is. There's a bunch. Yeah, I think it's ten. How much money that would fund this empire so they could help take over the world? But whatever, Sarah, you know everything. You know, just... You do whatever, and... You, know, you better be right, is all I have to say. Unfortunately, we don't know what's going on right now. Because we're stone. Well, we aren't. Uh, the viewers in our omnipresent... Uh, positioning in the story. Ooh, we captured a light dragon. It's a real lunker. You set fire to a peaceful community. What do you gain from this? She has a point. We have nothing to gain from this. I, I have to get this off my chest right now. It really bothers me that the first line's not indented like the rest of the line. Like, it might have just been a stylistic choice by Squaresoft to do that, but it really just bugs me. Like, it's just my OCD, but whatever. Boss time! 
It's time. Sarah's mad. She's just. Jade's burnt her city to a crisp. And now she's going to exact revenge. But Jade dodges at the last second. This is, this is epic. Oh, and he dodges again. Oh, that was close. Do you see how close that was? I wish I could instant replay. I probably could, I just can't be bothered. You're a pretty good scrapbooker. Unfortunately, we don't need those. Because... This is... Breath of Fire. Don't come any closer. I don't want you to get any of your cum on me, because that's disgusting. What will you do with Tyr, the goddess? We will use her to take over the world! ha <laughs> ha! It's all over. <laughs> oh, and she dodges the cum blast. That was close. Take this, slime! That's a human being, Sarah. Get a grip. You didn't even flinch, he disappeared and he's flickering! What do you mean he didn't flinch? Pay attention. Now walk through the fire and flames. There we go. Ha ha ha! And now you're gonna cut away right before the epic climax of that epic boss battle? This game is such a tease. When the dragon family was at the peak of its power, a goddess of desire appeared. The goddess Tear granted wishes. The dragons fought each other for her power. Tear encouraged the fighting and watched the war between the dragons escalate. When the world was at the brink of destruction, a warrior stepped forward. An ultimate warrior. Go in the building and find your ten Davids. The warrior battled Tyr with his seven companions and locked her up using six keys. These goddess keys were scattered throughout the world and hidden away. You gonna check the building yet? Check the building. Check any building. Do you think that she's the only person that lives in this building? You even looked at that building and thought about going in, but you didn't. You stupiders. The Light Dragons balanced the power of the family, and peace reigned again. These bad guys deserve to lose, because that's just so stupid. And how did they change back? Since when did Petrify ever do that? What kind of Petrify spell? Well, I suppose you could turn them into stone, then push them over, and they break. And then when they turn back, they just are dead, because they're in like five or six different pieces, and all their blood spills everywhere. Maybe that's what it's used for. It's, it's like an E-rated game, so they couldn't do that if ratings were even out yet. I'm not even sure if ratings existed yet. Anyway. And you, you don't have good magic, but you can jump like... Ten feet in the air. It's old woman, I guess. I, I can never really tell if it was a man or a woman. Apparently, it's a woman. I'm guessing that he, the chief, wasn't a woman. I know that I should try and stop you. Die! See, that, that was kind of funny. If I executed the vocabulary a little better. Take this. It's not much, but you can use it for equipment. And what is in this chest, pray tell? Well, you're just gonna have to wait until the next episode to find out. That's right. I'm leaving the chest as a cliffhanger. So you'll have a reason to tune in next time for the next episode of Let's Play Breath of Fire. Have a pleasant evening. Ding!